Hi, everybody. This is a follow on uh, from the previous uh, walkthrough on how to create a Red Hat account. In this video, we're going to get you access to the Red Hat uh, course material itself. So on, we'll starting at Blackboard, we're going to come down here, scroll down uh, in module one, log into the Red Hat Academy. If this is the first time you've ever been there, uh, you should see a landing page that has Red Hat Academy, uh, uh, image on it that looks somewhat like this. You'll click on the log in uh, button. If you have had an account in the past and are going to this, if you have your, have your Red Hat ID, you will see something slightly different. Let's hopefully let's see what this looks like here. Uh, looks like I'm still logged in, so I'll log myself out. So you'll get oh, something that looks like this. Uh, so you'll log in you will uh, place your Red Hat ID that you just created in the previous step that you uh, sent me a copy of, uh, with that I then went and used to enroll you in the class. Until I've actually enrolled you, this step will not work. So you definitely need to email me your Red Hat ID and the email address associated with that uh, Red Hat ID uh, to me at masmith at uh, forsythetech.edu. Uh, once I've sent you an email back saying that I've enrolled you and you should be go, good to go, this is when you can click on here and log into your Red Hat Academy account using your Red Hat ID, right? At which point you will log in and see the courses that you have been enrolled in that are currently operating or that you've done in the past uh, as well. To launch the course material, you'll go over here to the right and click on launch. Should you want a electronic PDF version of this course material or a hard copy uh, Dead Tree Edition, click on uh, the books tab up here uh, in these first, um, first uh, four tabs here under your course. Make sure the class is correct and that it's RH124 running from January 10th through 2022, uh, March 2nd. So click on launch. This will take you to your web delivery, your web pages that has all the course material readings, as well as the course, uh, the lab instructions. The lab instructions will be here on the Red Hat Academy site. The lab itself, the actual running it, running the labs, putting in the commands, et cetera, et cetera, will be done on NetLabs, where you'll have to have a separate account. And there's another video related to that on how to log in and how to uh, run and complete and finish and uh, create screenshots for your Red Hat Labs. So have a look at that video itself. Essentially, each one of these uh, boxes here are the chapters that we will be going through throughout the semester. And each one of these smaller rectangles is a page within that chapter, okay? In various chapters, a number of these chapters, there are quizzes or multiple quizzes, at which point you will just come in here and complete the quiz and take a screenshot of it for submission to Blackboard. Obviously, you can see the solutions. I can't stop you from cheating, uh, but all I can say is it is not to your benefit to do that. What I would do is to, you know, do answer the questions as best you can, you know, do a check, uh, check. And if you've got it wrong, then don't just reset and check another box. Go back and read the materials uh, related to that question. Learn the materials. The more you learn, the easier these the exams or the, the labs at the end of the semester are going to be. Okay, so don't cheat yourself by cheating on these quizzes. The nice thing is, is you can submit them multiple times. I don't care how many times you do them, as long as you do them, you know, to your own for your own benefit. Right? You're not doing this for me. You're doing it for you. Right? So at the end of the day, you'll take a screenshot of. Uh, your answers. If the quiz has more questions on it than can you can get in a single screenshot, even by you know reducing the size of the magnification on your screen, that's fine. You can just take multiple screenshots, save them as separate images, and upload them to Blackboard. What I do need though is to make sure that you include your username and up here in the upper right hand corner. Right, so that way I know it's you and you didn't just borrow these uh, images from somebody else. 
uh, that's taken already taken the class or from another classmate or something like that. Okay, so you'll then take your screenshot, come over to your Blackboard shell, scroll to whatever the quiz number is, in this case, quiz one, uh, click on quiz one, and then you will scroll down to browse local files, and then you will upload, I'll just create something like that, you know, find the screenshots that you saved and click on submit in the lower right hand corner. I've set these up so that you can submit them unlimited amount number of times. I will just grade the final submission. So if you make an error and you want to go back and do it again, or you've uploaded the wrong things, not a problem. Just do a new submission and do it again. If you want to submit part of your material and then go back and submit some more and complete it again, like if you want to do a lab or something in two parts or go back and practice it, that's fine. You can just save your submission as a draft. And then when you come back, you can uh, click on it and then add new files uh, as, uh, when you want to add more screenshots later on. And then once you've submitted all the screenshots that you want all in one spot, you can then click on the submit button and everything will go uh, up as one. All right, and that brings me to the end of this short walkthrough video.